Hi, it's Mark Gordon with GoldTicker.com on Monday, April the 30th, 2012, and looking at the uh, SPY, the S&P 500, um, we were down about a third of a percent today, nothing much, on light volume, and uh, we've had some light volume days the last three sessions here, um, and we did have a follow-through day on uh, the 25th here, and uh, this is a day when the market confirmed a new rally by moving up. Uh, one point about 1.4 percent on the S&P 500, and uh, so now we're back in a confirmed rally. Rallied up here, we had uh, uh, four days of uh, of gains here, and now giving back a little bit. No big deal on light volume. Uh, should we fall further tomorrow, we have support coming in right here at the 50-day moving average, this blue line at 138.34, and a little bit here at the 21-day moving average at 138.80. So that's looking good there. Um, back here down on the MACD, uh, we did get a cross of the black line, which is the faster moving average above the slower moving average blue line. So that's a good sign also. Uh, scrolling down here to the stochastics, uh, we are now overbought. So uh, do for a little pause here, uh, but anything can happen. The markets have been powerful. And looking now at the NASDAQ composite, uh, you can see we gave back a little bit today too, about three quarters of a percent, uh, um, a bit more than the uh, S&P 500. Uh, NASDAQ stocks are, are a lot of the uh, big growth stocks, so they're a little more volatile. But uh, getting support down here at the 21-day moving average, more support coming in here at the 50-day, which is currently at 30.23.32, 30.23.32. So up above the 3,000 uh, line here, up above the 50-day moving average, uh, all is good on the NASDAQ. A bit more average volume over here. We did have some accumulation last week as it moved higher. So NASDAQ st uh, stocks looking strong. So perhaps a pullback here uh, and uh, regrouping and then another assault back up here to new highs, which would uh, take out the 3134 level. And looking down here at the MACD, uh, we did get across there, just barely crossing here, uh, the faster moving average above the slower. So a good sign there, uh, overbought here on the NASDAQ. So a pause, maybe a little sideways action uh, could be in store for us. And now a quick look at the Dow. Um, had its move also uh, for uh, up days, giving back a little bit, only a tenth of a percent on the Dow. Lots of low volume the last five sessions here. Uh, Dow just kind of taking a little break here. Uh, coming back up into new high territory, uh, getting very close here. So um, let's see what happens. Uh, let's check the stochastics and the MACD. MACD had a big cross here. A while ago, you can see the line spreading between the slower and the faster moving average. That's a good sign there. And uh, we are overbought on the Dow as well. So my call would be uh, take a little pause here, regroup, uh, get stochastics down below 80, and then maybe make another run for new highs here. And looking at uh, the almighty Apple, down uh, over 3% today. And uh, you can see the follow-through day here that the S&P 500 had on the 25th. And then uh, it's been correcting uh, uh, since that. It had a big gap up, now filling that gap. Uh, coming back down here and testing the 50-day moving average, which is at uh, about uh, 580. And uh, so a pretty, pretty good action here, I would say, because of the low volume. Big move up on heavy volume. Uh, didn't eclipse the selling volume, though, of the last, uh, uh, these last sessions here. But nonetheless, had a big gap up. Now pulling back, filling the gap in light, light volume. Um, I would uh, hope to see uh, some support down here uh, at the 50-day moving average or around the 50-day like it had before and, uh, and see some strength as the stock tries to rally up. And checking its uh, MACD it did not cross. It's a little, a little bit more weakness on the moving average uh, convergence divergence line. And it is not overbought. So, um, you know, Apple would have a little more legs in it should it decide to make a run back higher. Now, a lot of times with these really great stocks, it will come down and test the 50-day moving average or the 10-week line and get a lot of support from uh, the big boys, the big uh, mutual funds and, and banks and so forth, uh, if they feel in mass that the stock is going to be going higher. So this is a very critical time um, <clears throat> for Apple. Um, you know, uh, a, a high, uh, uh, heavy volume rebound up off of these key moving averages would be great. Moving on now to gold, this is the GLD, up a third of a percent. Did something very interesting today that hasn't done in a while. Uh, we have a channel here. I, I drew some uh, blue uh, uh, hashed lines here on the upper and lower channel lines. It's been very, very, um, you know, conforming to this uh, channel here. But today we got a close just above the channel line. So 
little bit of hope here. It did come on light volume, so uh, you know uh, we do have a lot of overhead resistance up ahead here too. So um, gold possibly getting ready to fight a battle here and uh, start to move higher. And uh, let's see what happens when we challenge this first one, the 100-day moving average, this green dotted line, which is just ahead at 162.45. Um, we did close at 161.88, so just about a half a point ahead is some overhead resistance. And of course, the 50-day moving average is at 163.05, uh, 163.05. So that's just up ahead as well. So, but a little bit of encouragement here. Got got support down here at the 21-day moving average. This this uh, uh, red solid line here. Um, so uh, let's see what happens here with GLD. It'd be uh, nice to see something, uh, you know, some kind of rally get going. It's been a long time. And moving on now to silver. This is the SLV, the silver ETF, and uh, not much excitement over here. Uh, down uh, almost a full percent here. Um, it has a bit of a downward sloping wedge going to it now. Um, in a downtrend, clearly. Um, this uh, little move down did come on a pickup in volume, uh, so we possibly could be headed lower. Now, what's interesting is is that you have this sort of wedging action that is pointed down. Um, believe it or not, a lot of times they resolve themselves to the upside. So, but uh, silver looking weak below all the key moving averages, and um, you know nothing really to get excited about here. Uh, moving on now to the MACD, very flat, no momentum here, and uh, you have uh, stochastics getting a little bit of life. Uh, uh, to them, uh, to the upside, um, you know, not overbought, coming up off of oversold territory, um, but stochastics looking like that. maybe a little momentum will be starting up. I don't know. Uh, silver just not looking too exciting here. When we look down here at the volume, you just see a lot of red spikes. Those are the down days on heavier volume, so that's just a lot of distribution. I don't really see a lot of interest in buying here. Uh, really, no um, above average uh, 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 up days in quite some time uh, since uh, late February. So uh, not much action in the silver. So that's it. Uh, hope you, hope you uh, got some information out of this. And thanks for listening.